Yeah, well, I went back to try to get on Facebook, and they wouldn't let me create a new account, and then they, you know, gave me that same song and dance, you know, you have community, you, you went against our community standards, you're not allowed to um, talk here. And um, uh, huh. the last thing I remember was waking up from having dreams that were really fucked, and then because I was going to shut them down for a while and not go back for a while because Jesus said I didn't have to go back there. And then I woke up pissed and got on uh, live and said, y'all need to knock it the fuck off because you fuck with people's heads and it's, it's not cool. It needs to stop. And um, I'm not an expert and I don't know how this science stuff works, but the best I can, this is just the best observation of what the how the technology works. I, I think YouTube is a little bit more of a, a little bit more old fashioned. You know, it just basically uh, has access to your domicile, but you know, it's just more like uh, you get uh, marketing and propaganda, and then you sign off on the thing, and they, they can have a virtual presence to watch what you're doing. But I don't think they have an active thing that uh, fucks with your head like YouTube does, like Facebook does. And, uh, Facebook's technology is bad news and it's it's probably stuff you should avoid. And uh, Natalie got off Facebook, Patrick did, and you know I hope the other kids do too. And um, yeah, they're bad news. And um, uh, yeah, I went back to try to help. You know, saying maybe I could uh, get in there and um, help their technology change and help them and. and so the technology wouldn't have to do things to stop and eliminate people that are doing that. You know, I was hoping that the, I could help uh, get them to get options to where they would go, okay, you know, uh, let's do the right thing. But uh, I've been down one time, been down two times, never going back again. This, good, the, the, the Olympic stuff is just horrid. <laughs> it's like a psychotic transgender fashion show from hell with all kinds of egomaniacs who think it's freedom. Do what you want. Do as you please. Guys, we're still involved in genocide over philanthropy with technology. That's not freedom. Okay, Freedom is, is being able to live lives free from extortion, exploitation, uh, dictation, legislation, home invasion, manipulation, excessive compulsive behavior. You know, being free from comparisons, competitions, you know, freedom is so not anything you guys are doing on the fucking hideous boob tube. <laughs> Watching it is it's 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 disturbing. It's it's bad. He's uh, irrigating, so we must be getting. I we must be getting irrigation water again. And no, I'm not in any way homophobic. Okay. Um. You know, I, I think people should be allowed to have, when they're adults, you know, whatever kind of sex life they deem they desire, need, or want. But I don't want it being seen as a birth control alternative. You know, I, 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 we have a large population because of mass genocidal bad brain activity and people panicking and, and also because of the use of sex as a manipulation tool. So we don't have overpopulation because of religion. We have overpopulation because we don't have good religion. Okay. We had good religion. People would control themselves sexually like I do. And, uh, you know, you, you do things, you know, take steps to make sure that your wife's not constantly barefoot and pregnant because you care about her physical health and you care about exponential growth and you, and you care about children living in a... Yeah, in a world where they have what they need to live healthy, compassionate, intelligent, um, beautiful lives, not these egotistical perceptions of just, just TV's atrocious. Okay, <laughs> just, you know, it's just like God, that's gross. You know, uh, airplane companies, car companies, uh, people involved in the propaganda—they're they're really bad and ugly and gross people, and it's. And I'm not being judgmental. I'm just trying to help them understand who the fuck they are. <laughs> so, because they're sick. Right? They really are. Celebrities are ugly. 
and there there's nothing attractive or endearing or be beautiful about them they're they're willing to compete over money that gets people mass murdered and willing to indulge uh pervert scientists that invade your domicile and manipulate you to keep it going they're they're bad they're gross <laughs> watching these people these egomaniacs that are on tv okay this is millions of years in the making and thousands of years of uh you know the last supper and um the hajj and all these beautiful um people in the past you know hey let's allah say judy krishnamurti muhammad jesus myself why well, yes i include myself yes Job, Jonah, Esther, Ruth, Khadijah, you know, um, so many beautiful people throughout time that would be totally repulsed by all the things people are doing with these, you know, in that large mechanized, uh, you know, Europa. It's horrible what they're doing in Paris right now. Their arrogance is just blah, you know. Then I was talking to Dad about it, and he goes, did you see what they did with those supper? Said, yeah, it doesn't surprise me, Dad, but the thing about it is, he goes, it's Christian. I said, no, they're just doing it to get self-righteous people that call themselves... Um, religious to get angry and violent. Okay, um, I'm religious. I'm just repulsed. Get violent? Why would I want to? I, I don't have to kill a bunch of uh, transgender homosexuals making mockery of the Lord's Prayer on TV for money. I, it's, that's pretty much bam. Still, you know, you belong to me. Thought we closed the book, locked the door. Right? They, they pretty much take care of it themselves, right? You have to kill them. Life is eternal, and grace is infinite. If you're a faithful, loving person, um, then you are a light of faithful love and kindness and caring. If you're a selfish, narcissistic, horrible person on TV celebrating what, what you think is celebrating philanthropy and being all excited, they think this, they're all talking about too, it's a surreal moment, it's really amazing. It's like they flew you, a bunch of mass murderers flew you to uh, industrialize, uh, uh, epicenter of egotistical violence and genocide and conflict and you're there in front of cameras with all these you know, billionaires like we talked about earlier you know you're performing in front of the worst genocidal operators mass billionaires and millionaires that will mass murder people to keep them killing each other for population manipulation numbers and they're just trying they're playing games with life and they're addicted to it, and they think it's fun. And I, the nice thing about this stuff, in the, in the book of Revelation, okay, everybody can see me. Everybody can hear me teach and redeem the Gospels, okay? It's, avail it's made available to everybody, but the wealthies are not letting it happen, okay? And, you know, Judy Krishnamurti, D.T. Suzuki, Hele Selassie, Jesus had to meet Caiaphas and Herod, and he had to meet all the bastards and the murderers face-to-face, -face, okay? Um, I don't have to. I don't have to meet. If I meet the people that create El Chapo Guzman and all that, they don't come up and tell me, like they did in Salase's and Krishnamurti's and, and 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 Suzuki's time. I did it, and I'm the you know that one little pervert scientist. You know that's the only one they'll sit in front of me because the George Soros's and shit of the world and the Bill Gateses. They know, okay, if I do this, that's, there's a good chance my technology will kill me. If I do what that little uh, disabled rocket scientist who has bad brain activity, jump in my face, you're a liar and all that stuff. Like, Shut up. You know you. <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth and you know I'm right, right? But Gates and Ciros and uh, Netanyahu and Trump, and they can't get in my face. Because if they do, the technology will go boop, 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 and they're afraid the technology will kill them. Okay. So they'll try to use other people to get in my face, uh, the people here in the military that are expendable. Well, we want to get rid of him. He kills people for a, a paycheck. You know, he does it. He's, he gets his hands dirty. Okay, uh, Biden, Trump, Obama, uh, Bush—they don't get their hands dirty. They sign a piece of paper. The assholes in this village of psychotic idiots on the other side of Tate Dogs, he's passed. They're the ones who get their hands dirty, dirty, even if they're using a joystick, sending in a, a smart bomb. They're the ones who kill the people. Okay? Don't ask, don't tell. I don't need to know what happens. Just like, it was like Ronald Reagan. I don't recall because Bush was signing everything off because he was the head of the CIA. So what the president don't know, he can't say, oh, yeah, I knew what was going on. So you just say, okay, um, 
take care of it, but don't tell me how you did it. You know, like Sergeant Yee back in basic training. All I care about is in results. Don't tell me about how you got it done. And that's how these people are, okay? Um, I'm hopeful Jeff Bezos is a little bit more intelligent than the rest of his uh, Ralph and Sam wolf and sheepdog and sheep counterparts. I hope so. I hope Jeff steps up and finds a way to help get this stuff turning so we can start, uh, you know, living the Lord's Prayer now. I hope so. I'm hopeful. This is the only place that I have. So we'll see what happens, guys. Um, okay. Love you. <laughs> Peace.